guys, welcome back to my channel Avanti Morocha. This video is in collaboration with Cricut. Today I'm going to show you how to make a Halloween bag using infusible ink. Now let's begin. I'm going to use this design to make a Halloween bag. I put together this design using images from Cricut Access. If you are subscribed to Cricut Access, go to images, type Halloween in the search box. Here you're going to find a large variety of Halloween images that you can use for all kinds of projects. If what you're looking for are phrases, go to the filter and check the box phrases. You could also use Cricut Design Space to create a design with text and shapes. Also, you could upload a design you make in another program and it's compatible with Design Space. I'm going to share the link to this project on my blog. To be able to use it, you will need to have Cricut Access. If you want, you can personalize this bag with your child's name. Make visible the two hidden layers and change the name. I'm going to hide the layers because I won't use a name for this bag. When making a design, it is essential to consider the size of the application, in this case a bag. You should also consider the size of your easy press. Now click on make it. Don't forget to activate the mirror button. Continue. Select the material. I'm going to use infusible ink transfer sheet. Load the fine point blade in plan B. Place the infusible ink transfer sheet with the liner facing down. Load the mat. And now start the job. I fast forwarded this part of the video, the process to cut this design took about 4 minutes and a half. Remove the transfer sheet from the mat. I'm going to cut this part of the sheet so I can use it on another project. Now remove the excess material around the design. Gentle roll the transfer sheet so the cut lines separate and are more visible. This way make it easier to grasp and remove excess material from in and around your design. Make an opening and remove the excess material around the design. I've removed the excess material around the design, now I will remove the excess material inside the leather and the spider web. Now the design is ready to be transferred. Preheat the easy press to 385 degrees Fahrenheit. For this project I'm using a Cricut bag that is compatible with infusible ink. First, use the easy press and remove all the wrinkles from the bag. Use a lean roller and remove any debris or fiber from the bag. Do not skip this step. Even minuscule debris and fiber may create imperfections in the transfer. Place the easy press mat inside the bag. Now, place a piece of white cardstock inside the bag to protect your easy press mat. Preheat the bag for 15 seconds. Place the design in the center. Cover it with a piece of butcher paper. Press it for 40 seconds with light pressure.
Keep the stack as still as possible while pressing. Remove the butcher paper and let it cool for about 20 to 30 seconds. When the design is still warm, remove the liner. As you can see, the Halloween bag looks great. To get the best results, I recommend keeping your design within the size specifications of your easy press. You need to be able to press the whole design at one time. I'm going to share the link to this project on my blog avantimorocha.com. To be able to use it, you need to have Cricut access. I hope you like this project and if you make it, don't forget to share a picture on my Facebook page or tag me on Instagram. I love to see it. If you are interested in a Cricut or an easy press, I'm going to leave you the links where you can buy them in the info box below the video. If you are new to my channel and you like what you see, hit the subscription button, tap the notification bell so you get informed every time I release a new video. Don't forget to visit my blog, follow me on my social media, like this video and share it with your loved ones. See you soon. Ciao, ciao.